Hi guys, welcome to Make 2, and the first of what I hope will be a long-running and super fun series of me building some hugely exciting stuff in Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'm going to be making a brand new world in creative mode, just because I think that will allow me to be, unsurprisingly, more creative. I'm just going to call it Make 2 Island. Not very original, I know. And I was scouting around for a fun seed to play in. One that just had lots of interesting stuff going on, really near the spawn site, and would just give me lots of creative ideas. So this is the one I've come up with. I haven't really done anything with it yet, but I just wanted to start a new world in this exciting place and see what happens. So let's take a look around. Why I like this, I seem to have such a great mix of biomes. You've got this, um, I don't quite know, it, is, it looks like grass, and I think it's a kind of grass, but it's a different colour from the, the grass down here. So you have some mountain areas right here, and lots of lush water, lots of lush greenery, forests, a river. You can see mountains stretching off, or hills stretching off over that way. Over here there's a swamp start of a swamp biome. I don't know what one could build there, maybe some marshes and some hovercrafts. And that stretches for quite a long way. Got some big mushrooms. And then the thing that really caught my eye was some, ooh, well, caves always catch my eye, but I'm not going to explore them quite yet. There are a number of interesting, wow. Oh, don't get distracted. So the thing that really caught my eye was the lovely expanse of beach. There's beach all over the place. And there are some great patches of beach that I thought would be a really cool place to start. Actually what gave me the idea, let me just wait for this to to catch up with us, was where my wife and I stayed on our honeymoon. It's a place in Belize called Tranquility Bay on Ambergris Island. Wow, well, there's some deep caves over there. Deep, deep caves. Where was I? Belize, Ambergris Island, Tranquility Bay. There are a set of huts on right on the beach, just seconds away from the ocean. So when you're sleeping, you can hear the ocean, you get up, you can walk and step in the sea on your way to breakfast, and there was a, a restaurant on a wooden thing extended over the over the water. And the sea was super calm because it was on this, um, right by this reef wall. So inside the reef, come on computer, come on computer. Inside this reef, it was all super calm because there was nothing there, uh, no waves because everything was protected by the reef. And I've lost all sense of direction. Let's find the sea again before I get completely lost. So I found the sea. <laughs> And I found, look at this, big lagoon spilling off all around here. And what I'm looking for is a nice site with a good amount of beach where I can want some flat beach. Let's do... No, I don't want anything in a lagoon. I think I'm gonna see if I can find something a bit further on. That looks like a promising spot right ahead. Nice and flat. Lots of beach. Oh, I'm testing this thing, aren't I? Okay, so it's rendered now, and I think this is going to make an ideal spot to start off. <sighs> start off my. Um, my world. I think it might expand into, you know, maybe one day a giant city with skyscrapers and roads and motorways and cars and things, and maybe a, I was thinking maybe, you know, a subway or a train system, because there are train tracks in, in Minecraft. But I'm going to start off with a simple, a simple beach hut. So I'm just going to fill in, just going to fill in this sand here. And then I'm going to start building today. I've shown you a little bit of my world, but I want to start building as well. 
Now normally I prefer to build in first person, but for certainly for doing videos I think third person makes much more sense. So first of all I'm just going to get my palette of colours ready. I'm going to need some of that. Try the clay, but I think I probably want more. And then I think it's good. Okay. Now I'm going to see how we build this and see how we get on. I want a little bit of space in front, but I know this is actually quite big because I've based it on these real life. Um, oh, one back. I've built. built I, ooh, I've based this on real life building and therefore, you know, in Minecraft that means it takes up a lot of space. So I'm going to build first of all, this is going to be the porch. And it's three by one, two, three, four, five, six. It's three by eight. I know it seems really big and it, it will be pretty big. Uh, but that's the way of things, I'm afraid. Now, I think I, I could have maybe built the foundations into the ground, but I think it's probably nice to have a step up. I might end up having to build out the beach just a little bit, just a little bit. Now, I want to see which one I prefer. I think I prefer the texture of the clay, but the colour's not quite as good, so... I'm going to stick with the wool, and this is going to go 12 back, so it's 8 across, Three deep for the bout for the porch, and then twelve deep for the main house. So one, two, three, four, five. So seven to go. One, two. Oh, right to the edge there. Okay. Oops. I think I'm going to have to. I think I'm going to eat in to the sides here. So let me just see. Four, four. That's okay, this is just the foundation layer. So this is our hut. This is going to be one of several. I'm going to fill in the floor and start on the walls and then we will see uh, see it take shape. So we now have the outside walls done, and this is where I'm going to put the windows in, but I haven't yet put the internal walls in, and then I think you'll really see it start to take shape. Okay, so you can now see it's starting to take shape. We've got several rooms here, we've got a bed in place. So I've now got to, it's actually on one and a half floors. So it's going to be pretty big, but you know, still kind of cozy. So I'm going to start adding details on the downstairs and then we'll get to the upstairs floor after that. Okay, I've had a change of heart here on the floor, and I think I'm gonna change it now so that the wood stands out a bit more. I'm not gonna change it everywhere. And I think that looks a lot cleaner. A lot cleaner and a lot nicer. But while we're going, I will also add some touches here. So this back here is actually going to be. Oops, this is going to be a shower room of sorts. 
and in there I'm going to put a special block just to add some light Give a sense there's a little a little shower there. And what add some basin. So that's one room. Now this is obviously the bedroom. And yes, I know we need to change the floor in here as well. This is the great thing about Minecraft, it just does inspire such fun, interesting building, and you can just do whatever if you like. You can rip it up and start again and doesn't matter. If anything, it makes it better. There we go. I know there's some... well, it's... God. Let's be complete. Let's add that stuff in. Where's Mr. Bed? Mr. Bed goes right there. And right, now we've just got some slabs on the floor. Now I can't put the lamps directly on the slabs. And I've got one special little feature here. I think I can get in before it gets too dark. And that is... A big set of wardrobes. That's a nice little touch. Just formed from sort of the reciprocal part of the stairs. And let's put a door outside there. There's a wall. And a wall on top. There's a bedroom. We haven't done the windows yet, but we've almost done the rest of it. You can see here's the kitchen. Let me light up the bedroom, the uh, living room. See if we can replace that torch. Put a torch on each wall in the corner there. I think it's really starting to come together. We've almost done the whole of the first floor. I'm now just going to fill in the windows and then it's going to be done. Let's try and get this done before it gets completely night time. I'm just using fence posts here for the whole of the windows. Just lets air through, lets that sea breeze in. You know gives it that rustic feel which a lot of us often want when we go on a holiday and this was a really lovely holiday. It was just so relaxing. So incredibly relaxing. Okay, and that's that floor done. Now we've got to start building the second floor so I'm going to go to bed and see you in the morning. Okay, we're back and it's morning and done the downstairs, done the windows, but now I've got to do the second floor. And for that I'm going to need a lot of wood covering the whole of this part of the house. And I'm just going to fill this whole area in as quickly as we can. And there we have it. And there's going to be a bed in the middle here. This is kind of a, a mezzanine area. A fence so no one falls down. And there we have it. It's really big. It's a good place for guests. We actually never use it up here. We preferred our um, dedicated <laughs> nice place downstairs, which also had air conditioning, which though we like the rustic feel, it's also nicer points to stay cool when <laughs> it's uh, so hot outside. Let's just put, right, let's, let's go for a different colour wood here just so it pops a bit more. Let's go for, let's go for Acacia. Okay, so now we've actually got almost all of the house. I've got to do the balcony, the porch still, and I have to do the roof. Hopefully you've got a, a good sense of what it'll look like. I know it's kind of a bit dull from the sides, but, you know, I've gone of our photos and it's actually pretty much what it looked like, and I think it's actually you know, a lovely place to stay. So let's fill in the roof. Okay, I've just about finished the roof. I know it looks a little bit dull now. It's very plain. 
promise that's the one I actually had in real life. It's just very simple back here. A very normal V and it makes the walls look pretty dull. From the dark back, yes, it does look a bit boring, but I promise you the front is going to soon look better. Importantly, I need to add on some doors, so let's get those on. Let's get back first to a third person view. Nice set of double doors, and now let's do. Let's actually shape out what we want this to look like. So remember, this is the porch area. Let's fill that here. I'm just going to put. I'm in the way. Just a little chair for sitting on the outside. It is. I'm going to add on some finishing touches just to give it a little bit more texture. I'm going to that. Um, yeah, I think that's let's do one by one. Two one too many. And um, maybe one there, um, one there, just to give it a sense of curve. It might be a bit much, but we can always change it later. Just put in those posts. Last one, and I think that's it, our building's done. So let's take a look at it. Well, I think it fits in really nicely. <laughs> now, I know it looks a little bit lonely, and what I'm actually going to do is do different ones. Well, very, very, very similar design, but I'm going to build some others next to it. I think we've got space for Probably only one, maybe one full-size one here, right next to it, and then maybe an, another small one here, and then I'm going to build out into the water. It's going to be a dock come restaurant. Now let's take a quick look inside, and then we'll call it a day. Well, it needs steps. Here we go, we have steps. So we have a porchway, looking facing the door. Double set of doors takes us inside to a nice little seating area with some books to read. Here we have the kitchen area. Probably should have put those um, put those up in this room in the right way next time. Here is the shower. And I've used this, um, I think it's an end portal, end um, nether reactor or something. I've just used that as a basin. Then in here is the bedroom. Windows out the back, what can we see out there? I can see the countryside, here's the bed, and he's got these big, these big wardrobes. Can't really put anything in there, but I think it looks nice. And we've got everything, yep, yeah, everything's covered up. And then let's go upstairs. This is a really big space. I know it's not being used for much, but it's still quite nice. Let's put some torches up here. Now I've got one piece of advice for you. When I was trying to get the design of this right, uh, I had one in a practice area, and I very stupidly, very stupidly, tried to see if I could start one of these ovens in creative mode and put a bucket of lava, lava inside it. Turns out, in creative mode, you can't light furnaces. Yep, so it burnt down. <laughs> uh, just when I finished, but that's the transiency of life. So, hmm, I think I'm going to get rid of these. Oh, I can't get rid of all of them. Oh, one of them. Did it up already. Okay, I'm going to stop here. So by the next time you see me, I hope to have made a bit more progress on the beach, but based on this very simple design for this beachside cottage. If you've enjoyed this video and made it this far, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because more videos are coming soon. Thanks for watching.